welcome to our video about the physics of a loop. <laughs> In the 1700s, British explorers told tales of a Polynesian pool dance. The dance uses the swaying motion of the ankles, knees, and hips, which were like the motions needed to spin the updated grapevine hoop, first made by Egyptians way back in 1000 BC. Centripetal force is the force needed to keep an object moving in a circular path. Torque is how much force is acting on an object to cause the object to rotate. Inertia is a property of matter by which the whole hoop stays at rest or in a uniform motion unless acted upon by an outside force. And finally, friction is the resistance of motion of one object moving relative to another. The law of inertia is what keeps the whole hoop spinning as long as you exert enough force to overcome gravity. Oh, oh, oh wait, start over. Friction is the force that slows down the whole hoop when it comes in contact with your clothes or body. testing our size, weight, and time. In this experiment, we're going to be testing how size and weight affect the whole hoop speed. Here you can see the piece of tape that we're going to be using to see how long it takes the whole hoop to go around my body 10 times. Now we're going to do the same test, but with two 100 gram weights. 